Hello, sports fans. My name is Mark Mortia from Yesterday Sports. You're about to jump into another thrilling sports history moment. But first, let's dive into today's sponsor, just in time for the holiday season. Introducing Art of Words, the brainchild of word artist Dan Duffy from Philadelphia. Dan meticulously crafts stunning images by hand writing relevant words from some of the greatest sports moments in time. These unique, budget-friendly illustrations are the perfect gift, sparking cherished memories and capturing hearts. Choose from city skylines, sports, history, and musicians to find a piece for everyone. And here's the exciting part. For that sports fanatic in your life, Gift them a piece of their favorite team or player's history. Art of Words tells a compelling story. Explore collegiate stadiums, each meticulously crafted with every football victory etched in words. Or venture into baseball stadiums, handwritten with every player from the team's illustrious history. Don't wait. Order a print today for yourself and your loved ones this holiday season. Transform your wall into a gallery of captivating art and surprise your family and friends with a print of their own. Use code SHN15 at artofwords.com for a 15% discount on your order in November and December. Visit Art of Words, where words magically transform into stunning art, evoking cherished memories and touching the hearts of those you care about. Again, use the code SHN15 for 15% off at artofwords.com. To another episode of One Guy with a Mic Presents Dingers and Dunks. This episode is going to be about the our year in review of our show. All right, we've been doing this for a whole year now. Fed, we've put out a lot of episodes, um, and our our base, our fans, our listeners continue to grow, and so that's amazing, and I love it, and couldn't ask for any more. So, um, and what can I say? Like I said, I am blown away by the support I get every single week. Even when the research team goes on hiatus, you folks are still there listening and tuning in even to the old episodes and it's been a crazy year now this episode is just going to be about our year in review there's not going to be a did you know not really going to be a on this date this is going to be a little flashback for you guys for for listening to our show all right and i appreciate every single one of them now Where do we start? Well, it started with an idea in a car. Now, some of you guys have heard this story. Some of you haven't. But that's okay. So it all started started in a car on the phone with my brother-in-law. And I said to him, I want to do a a podcast. And he goes, I would listen to that. It's a sports podcast. He goes, I would listen to that. And I was like, all right, done. I have one listener. It's good enough for me. And then it turned into my cousin and Sal and slowly just gotten bigger and bigger and bigger and more people continue to listen. And and so, so it was one of those things where I just started out, didn't really know a whole lot, didn't know what I was doing. So I YouTubed it, obviously, because YouTube will tell you everything. And then our first episodes, we started off with eight downloads for the first episode. Then we did 12 and at one point, we got to 30 in that first month. And for a guy that only started this thing out, and like I said, I had one person committed to it, uh, I really appreciated it. I still, re- I still remember the early NBA episode I did where Adam calls me up and says, <laughs> as I'm at work, and tells me how to pronounce Luca and Giannis' last names. Because apparently I screwed that up. And I still screw it up to this day. Especially Giannis. That's the hardest name ever. 
And then he, st- so then he said something about the episode. And he's like, "All right, I gotta go back to listening, and I'll have more for you after I get done." I mean, that was just the feedback that I'm getting back from from him. Uh, and then, then I had my cousin Richie. He, I did a racing episode, and he tells me how he's like, "I didn't know you that d- didn't I didn't know you knew that much about racing." And I said, "Neither did I until I Googled it." <laughs> so yeah, Google's been our friend basketballreference.com and baseballreference.com have our been our resources which has been a huge part for us and with that with them being as big as they are we really need to try to get a sponsorship this year or a partnership with them so we can have access to all that stuff I mean I, I reference them every single podcast it seems like right but those guys over there at basketball, you know, stat head, as, as their whole thing is called, they're huge. They're big. They're, they help me out a lot, especially when I need stats. So, and then I had my buddy Sal. He would get hype every time he heard a baseball episode. I mean, the first few months, I enjoyed it, doing different episodes uh, like the youth sports and how to act. And then I was even told how I should act. More like how I explained it in, in my podcast. Because apparently I shouldn't be yelling at refs. <laughs> but you know what? Sometimes I know. They, I know they can't get every call right. Okay? But at the same time, just try to get the call right. That's all I'm saying. I mean, you have NFL um, refs that can't even get the call right. How do I expect youth refs to get the call right? Uh, Then I had the drugs and sports episode, which I felt is a good breakdown of what some considered a a problem, and while others might not. And then March hit, and we had the NCAA basketball tournament, and my bracket didn't pan out. I think... uh, I think we're going to try a one guy with a mic bracket um, contest on ESPN.com this year. This is what I think we'll do. During this time, we also had the Major League Baseball lockout. So we didn't really have a whole lot of baseball to talk about. Um, then we got into the... Um, and then we got into the walkout... Uh, and the yeah, so then we got so then we got into where were they the lockout and over with, and I did an entire baseball breakdown of all thirty teams, all divisions, and the playoffs in one week. And after that, I had to do a little soul searching about what I really wanted to do with the podcast. Because at this point, we have 75 listeners, not all downloading, but listening, and I appreciate them, just like every other one. And we started to branch out and interact with streams, uh, gotten to know some, uh, gotten to know Pseudo LG, uh, MLB, the show streamer, and Mike Dro. And also, Mike Dro was our 1,000th follower on TikTok. He deserves a hat or a shirt or something. And then... And then almost two hours on a Friday, Pseudo took his took the time out of his day and talked to me and Sal about tips on how to expand our brand, how Sal streaming took off, and my tiny podcast could be helped as well. Both those guys are righteous guys. Legends in my book. Okay? So April, I decided that I was no longer going to be one guy with a mic sportscast. No going to longer do all things sports all the time. I decided I wanted to do fun, easy, talking about history. And not just history, but baseball and basketball history. Something that, as you, with my Mount Rushmore episode, we talked about how my grandpa and my uncle and I would sit around and, and discuss former players and who is the greatest and why or who would be your starting nine, your starting five for whichever sport? Which teams were the best? And I wanted to do more of that. So I did some research. 
And I just happened to come across the sportshistorynetwork.com. I was scrolling through it, you know, checking some stuff out, see if I could get any tips on how to do a history podcast. Because again, I'm brand new still to podcasting still at this point because we're four months into it. And they had a contact us site button on the site. So I filled out all the info and, you know, next thing I know, I'm getting an email from Arnie Chapman, uh, the guy that produces sportshistorynetwork.com and runs it. He also hosts the Football History Dude podcast as well. So then we emailed and then he's like, hey, I want to set up a Zoom call to discuss it more. And I'm like, all right, sounds good to me. Like, I was just thinking I was going to go on there and pick his brain and see where we could go from this. Well, as it turns out, um, it's 9 p.m. I'm on a Zoom meeting on a Friday night, and I end up doing the Zoom meeting in my car in the Planet Fitness parking lot in a rainstorm. Because, you know, got to work out. And him and I talked for like 45 minutes, maybe an hour. And he's telling me what the Sports History Network does. And I, the more he talks, the more I'm like, like I would love to do this. Love to do this. And by the, time the, by the time it got over with, I was absolutely hooked. He goes, so what do you think about joining? And I'm like, sounds great to me. How do I sign up? So we go through the details and everything else. And then, and then so then we make the decision on what day we're going to start. So... We get everything transferred over, but before we did that, I did one last episode as a independent, quotation marks, because I still feel like we're independent, a podcast that I did 14 hours of research on, and it's my longest podcast to date, and it's probably one of the best I ever, I've ever i put out as well, um, and that was the Jordan versus LeBron, who is the GOAT. And if you haven't listened to that, go back to it. Came out on May 1st. A lot of analytics in there. And, you know, that's how we, that's how we decide some things around here is analytic wise. You got, I know, understand you got the eye test, but sometimes when you haven't seen the player play, like guys in the 50s and 60s, I've never seen play. Uh, you have to just go with the, what the analytics say. Go with the brains of the outfit. So, I come up with a new idea, um, and that was thanks to everybody. So, we changed the name to One Guy with a Mic Presents Dingers and Dunks. It was fun. A nice logo, moved everything over. Basically, a complete rebirth after basically four months of doing this, right? So we end up, you know, doing some new shows. And now at this point we start in June and we started already starting to see our, our efforts being appreciated and moved over as we went from 12 to 15 to 27 to 30 downloads. We went from 75 listeners to, to unique listeners to 150 unique listeners. And we're pumping out episodes every single week. And then the research takes a break in August. You know, that research team sure does like their vacations. Glad they're unpaid. So, and at this point, we're just doing an episode basically about baseball. And, you know, it's summertime, so that's what we're doing, baseball episodes. I, You know, first when I started this out, I wanted to do... A half baseball, half basketball, but then those podcasts got way too long. So we decided to pick one topic and do it that way. So I decided to do the one episode in August, Gambling and Baseball, the 1919 Chicago White Sox. Turns out to be probably one of the, probably better than the Jordan LeBron, actually, with content and everything else. And... If you haven't listened to that one, that's a good one as well because gambling and baseball were very linked together in the early 1900s. So we take a break and from uh, and my guy from 
historically speaking sports reaches out to me and says hey do you want to come on my show and do ray chapman episode with me and i'm like sure so dana invites me onto his show i go over there and we talk for an hour him and i and it was just like old friends you know and him and i put out a bang put out one of the another great episode um and then as and then i had some ideas for september that i didn't get done which i still need to go back to uh just you know at this point in september we've done about 29 episodes in six months we've done a guest spot i'm kind of burnt out from the podcast got work got everything else going on just needed a little break so we took september off which then led into october and then november and we did do another guest spot with dana about the world series history of the astros and phillies and then and that was another great episode i would have to say dana puts on a great show then december i see some tweets about pete rose and i think you know because at this point we're approaching hall of fame voting stuff and mike dro is actually tweeting about how pete rose is overrated and everything else and i'm like you know what can I take your, and I asked, reached out to him and said, hey, can I take your idea about Pete Rose? And can I do a podcast episode about it? Because, you know, he came up with the idea. He's the one that started the debate on Twitter. So, he's like, yeah, man, that's fine. Go for it. So, we do a Pete Rose episode. And, <laughs> turns out, I've been completely wrong about Pete Rose my entire life. And I bet you are, too, if you just go listen to the episode. Because we're talking about Pete Rose, the player, not Pete Rose, and all the other stuff. Right. Um. Then we take. Then we have Christmas hit, and then you know we have have the holidays, and it's just you know around the holidays you just eat and be with family, right? So I didn't have time to do a podcast episode then. So the second half of the year we've kind of you know the last quarter of the year we kind of slacked off, but I've gotten re-energized. I've gotten some new followers. Shout out to Jason, who is who is who I met as um, in Sal's stream, uh, Mister Pig Boss Man. You know, telling me how great the episodes are. I always like to boost the ego, big guy. Appreciate you. So, I think for the um, here, I think for the this year, we got some big things planned. We're going to do some TikTok lives because we can do that, right? I've been talking about that for a while, but we really need to just buckle down and do it. So I'm thinking May for March 1st, we start that, okay? Then uh, we have, then I think April 1st, you know, we start doing a little bit more our Twitch. Um, or sorry, April 1st, I think we start doing a little bit more uh, Twitter stuff having some live debates on TikTok, you know, start doing a little bit of that. By the end of June 1st, I think we start, we should be able to do shows on Twitch, question and answer shows. I think that we should be able to do that. I think we, we need to start branching out to YouTube and as well by the end of the year. And let's also not forget that we need to branch out and get some more equipment. We need to have guests because one guy with a mic I understand I got a great voice. I understand you guys like listening to my voice. But we need some guests. We need some live guests on this podcast. I have friends and coworkers that all want to be a part of this. So big things are coming. Big things happened and are going to come this year. 2022 was our groundwork. We built, we started to dig the hole, build the foundation. 2023 is where we're going to build that first floor of this mansion we're going to build. 23 just happens to be also my favorite number number as well. So sky is the limit, right? And then let's give you a quick breakdown, all right, of how this all, of where we're looking at on stats, all right? From the time we started till May, we had 235 unique listeners. That's people that checked on the podcast um, and listen to probably about 60 seconds of it at least. Okay. We had 361 downloads, uh, or no, sorry. This is from June or June until the end of the year. Okay. We had 235 unique listeners 
and which is basically checked out the podcast for like 60 seconds we had 361 downloads on 12 episodes okay from february to may we had 289 downloads with 17 episodes and we reached 212 unique listeners so we we got about a 10 percent factor going on here of who who downloads it and if we just get everybody to download that'd be awesome because i always say that's how they keep track of everything in the podcast world is the downloads now before we go we got one last thing thanks to arnie chapman for putting this together um we're up for a spotty award it's a sports podcast award okay i had to submit a three to five minute sound bites of the episodes so I submitted three of those and gave them a full episode example as well. That full episode was for the 1919 White Sox in gambling and baseball from August. Uh, the show is being is up for the best baseball show and the best sports documentary. Okay, last year's first place winner was John Boy uh, Baseball. You know, you know those guys from New York, heavy hitters. So we're up some, we're against some tough competition. Um, and the first phase is 12 judges from the industry and narrow it down. And then in March we have, and then March they nominate the ones that go on to a fan vote in April. And then comes the awards in May. So if we can get to the fan vote, I need everyone to go vote for the show. But we'll find out in March. Fingers crossed we can make this happen. But as a fan and as the year and as a newbie, um, you know, I'm just glad to be a part of it. I'm excited that we have a chance to be judged by the best in the company and get some feedback. So, now, the year in the review has come to a close. I appreciate all of you. As always drop a follow hit the like button you know or drop a follow ring the bell and then download the episode please thanks for everybody making this year wonderful and amazing and i truly truly am excited for what's to come have a good day or night and i'll catch you on the next episode of one guy with a mic dingers and dunks hey there sports history fan this is arnie chapman aka the football history dude and i wanted to thank you for stopping by to listen to another episode here on the sports history network our podcasters are passionate about uncovering and sharing sports stories from yesteryear and if you didn't know it already we have over 30 shows across the network covering all sorts of sports history topics in fact here's a glimpse into one of our awesome podcasts here on the network the Pigskin Tales Podcast is all about the lesser-known pro football players. Yes, there are stories about the ones we know, like Brad Tarkenton and Harold Red Grange. But, have you ever heard of Ernie Nevers? How about Dave Osborne or even Grady Alderman? These men created their own path to the NFL. How did they do it? Listen to the Pigskin Tales podcast. Now streaming on your favorite music platform. Go to pigskintales.com. How about that? I bet you're super hyped to go listen to that new podcast, right? Well, to learn about this show and all the other podcasts on the network, head over to sportshistorynetwork.com forward slash podcast. Again, that's sportshistorynetwork.com forward slash podcast. Head over there today to find your next favorite sports history podcast.